Hi guys, I've come to you from Bob's Firestone plant, from Mark Nolan's school, Carl Funky Coffee, Japan, all over the place. Today, today, I'm coming to you from the North Orange County Court. Yes, North Orange County Court. You're not going to believe this, but um, the Bible in 1 Corinthians 6 says, don't go to court. Don't have unsaved people decide your stuff. But you know what? When you become a liberal and don't believe the Bible, homosexual marriages are okay, female pastors are okay, divorced elders are okay, going to court and suing a Christian is okay. Carl, Elaine, Rod, and uh, Pastor Mark took me to court. So let me back up. A year ago, a year ago, Mark asked me to collect the rent at church. The, the guy that wasn't paying, the guy that had the school wasn't paying. So I went and collected the rent. Quan and I went. Turns out the guy was in jail in Kentucky for child sexual abuse stuff. Well, my hair is on fire because I got six kids. One of them is 10. So naturally, I freaked out. I went and talked to the stepson and then basically put together a deal of $48,000 of a settlement to get rid of him. But I didn't know what to do because this is way beyond my authority. I'm not even a member. So I asked for a simple request to address the elders as a member to go over this situation. It's pretty hairy, $48,000, a, a guy in, a tenant in prison, it's a pretty big deal. I got ignored, nothing happened. A year went by, nothing. Simple request, can I address the elders as a member to go over this deal? Now, since then, it's come to my attention. I spent 94 hours interviewing the people in the church that left. Why'd you leave? What went on? That kind of a thing. I spent 94 hours. And I've been still trying to present this. So, rather than letting me have two hours in front of the elders as a member, I have been, okay, I'm the guy that makes coffee. I'm the guy that greets every Sunday morning. I'm the guy that's been very influential in creating our men's group. You know, it's me. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a criminal. So, I've been shunned and then um, um, a trespassing order. Mark and the elders went to La Habra Police, got a trespassing order against me. Then they went to court and got a, tried to get a temporary restraining order against me. The judge uh, denied it on First Amendment grounds. I don't think Mark and Quan and Rod went to, um, well anyway, I think the elders, the elders and the pastor lack a good knowledge of civics. So, they, the judge denied the temporary restraining order, and today the judge denied the restraining order. He said, you know what, this is a First Amendment thing, go in the mediation room and settle it. So today, I had to agree not to harm their children or go to their houses and you know, attack them, which I never intended to do. But here's the deal, guys and gals, we have some very serious questions to answer. We've lost something like 80% of our members and 80% of our money. Uh, I'm afraid, and I have no evidence of this, but my hunch is the plan is to run the church into the ground, just basically pay off the pensions, a couple of pensions, and uh, sell the property and move, it, move the money back to the denomination. Hey, I want my grandkids to go to Crossroads. I want the men's group to, to flourish. When I started going to Crossroads, guys and gals, there were three services. The place was packed. I've been going there for 16 years. I have just as much of a right to that church as Mark does, as Quan does, as Rod does, as Lane does, as Carl does. I've been going there since 1999. All six of my kids have been baptized there. I've given a ton of money. My attendance is awesome. Who are they? Who are they to judge me that I'm not good enough? I've always thought that liberals, liberals are the least tolerant. And here they are saying that I am not good enough. All my kids are saved. All my kids are in the Word. You know my kids, they're awesome kids. And I'm not good enough to be a member of Crossroads? Really? Says who? Do Mark and Quan and Rod and Elaine, do they have kids as good as mine? Do they have a track record as good as mine? And on what basis, on what basis do you say you can't be a member? And you know, 1 Corinthians 6 says don't go to court. But you know what, when you overlook all kinds of stuff, and when you say, well, that doesn't apply to us, it's a slippery slope, guys. I've been in real estate for 35 years. I've never taken a single person to court because my mom raised me to believe in the Bible literally, literally. Don't take anyone to court. 1 Corinthians 6 is very clear. I don't know how Mark interprets it, but you know what? When you get to a certain point, you go, well, it doesn't apply to us. It doesn't apply to us today. Then you can do that. But we're not supposed to go to court. I'm not supposed to be here at uh, Department N10 
basically we wasted a whole day. But bottom line is, I have free speech. I'm going to write to everybody in the church for three years, tell them what's going on, and we'll see what happens. But again, you know what? 800 people came to this point and just left. I'm not leaving. 800 people, three pastors, a whole bunch of elders over the years, they all left. So if you're watching this and you haven't done anything or said anything, this church isn't going to last. We can't lose several thousand dollars a month indefinitely. I want to make Crossroads great again. Will you join me? Call Carl, uh, call Quan, call Rod. Tell them that I deserve an hour in front of the elders as a member. Tell them you love my kids. Tell them you love the way I've greeted you for two years. Tell them the way I love I made you coffee. Tell them you love the way I've been involved in the men's group, supporting it and growing it. I'm not some criminal that deserves to have trespassing charges and a restraining order against you. But you know what? This is like one of those bad episodes of 60 Minutes, you know, where Mike Wallace goes into the muffler shop owner and says, hey, and the muffler shop owner slams the door on his arm and calls the cops. What are they hiding? What are they hiding? Why the overreaction? Why this? Why would you want to violate 1 Corinthians 6? What's, 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 what's wrong? Why do they have to react to me this way? Call Quan for me. I'll put his numbers on the email. Call Rod for me. Tell them I deserve to address the elders, the fully constituted. Here's the deal. We didn't have all the elders until two months ago when Quan joined. So there was no elders. I asked to address the fully constituted elders as a member for an hour to go over the $48,000 settlement of the child molester who's in jail in Kentucky. It's a year ago. Who waits a year to join a church? You know, when I was in Japan, there was a church, there's a one-page membership, I could have joined that day. Who waits a year? 